In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Block X Lite node. The cost of this one is significantly less than a regular node. The regular node's collateral is going to be 100,000 Block X. And at the time of the video, that's going to be anywhere from 10 to $15,000. Now, the Lite node's collateral is only 10,000 Block X. And at the current price, we're looking at about one or $2,000. So significantly lower. Uh, the APY is going to be the same, but obviously the earnings is going to be less because you're putting less into it. Setting up this node, we're going to be using the web wallet. And the reason why I'm choosing to use the web wallet is because there's very few steps involved to get this node up and running. You do need to host it somewhere. And in this video, I'm going to be using node orbit, but you can host it on your local PC as long as you have a stable internet connection and a PC that can be on 24 seven. I'm hosting mine on a VPS. And I'll make sure I link that down in the description below if you'd like to do the same. BlockX is available on a few different exchanges. The two I recommend is gonna be ZegX or Mexi. Neither of them require KYC, so it's a frictionless process. Uh, the setup is fairly simple. It just takes a few minutes and I'll walk you through that right now. So let's get started. So I'm at the BlockX website and we're going to be using the web wallet to set this node up. This is an easy way to set up the node. There's very few steps involved. Uh, so all we have to do is create a wallet. So we have the web wallet option up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and select that and it's going to bring us over to the page for the wallet. The URL for this web wallet is wallet.blockx.space. So we'll go ahead and click on the next button over here. Click on next. What we want to do is either create a wallet or access a wallet because this is brand new. I'm going to be creating a wallet, which is going to be this option right over here. And I'm going to select it. It's going to give me my seed phrase. So the seed phrase can be copied and put into a text file or you can put it somewhere else. I'm just going to paste this aside. I, I'm not using this wallet, so that's why I'm showing you everything here. I'll be deleting this wallet and I'm going to be removing my funds immediately after I have created this. Uh, this is just an example, so please don't use this. We'll go ahead and select the I have recorded the recovery phrase. And now it's going to be asking us for different words that are in the phrase. Once you have all the words in, you can go ahead and click on confirm. And it lets me know that my passphrase has been confirmed. So you can give it a name you can give it any name that you want. I'll just call my crypto jar and then we'll click on submit. And now we can set a password. This password can be alphanumeric, whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, a strong password would be about 16 characters uh, in alphanumeric with some symbols mixed in there. Uh, all great ideas. You can go ahead and do that. So I pasted in my password. It's all lit up in green. That means I've met all the requirements and I can go ahead and click on submit. And now it's going to ask me for a pin. So I'll go ahead and create a pin for this and I'll put the pin in there click on submit. And there we go. So I have my wallet all set up and I'm ready to set up my node. So this is like any other wallet where you have the option to send and receive. Uh, you have your receive uh, right over here. This is where I'm going to be sending my coins to. And what we're doing today is we're going to be setting up a block X light node. Uh, so we're going to need the collateral, which is going to be 10,000 block X. Now the exchange that I'm using for block X is going to be ZegX. You can use whatever exchange you want. I use ZegX just because of the low fees and most of these new node projects end up being listed here. Uh, I'll make sure I link this down in the description below. Once you have the collateral for the block X light node, which is 10,000 block X, you want to send it to this wallet address, which we have right over here. Now you're going to want to send a little bit more than 10,000 block X, maybe 10,002 block X, because you want to cover the transaction fees that go along when you have this node uh, that is going to be required. So a couple coins extra on top of the 10,000. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this and I'm going to send myself the collateral and, uh, That'll take a few minutes. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step. Uh, so there's 10,002. Again, I added a couple extra block X just to handle the transaction fees uh, for sending and receiving when we're setting up this node. What I'm waiting for it to do is populate over here in the transaction history to make sure that we also have the allocated confirmations that we need before we proceed. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and we'll jump over to the next step. Okay, so I've just waited a little bit for some more confirmations to come through. We have five now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the next step, which is to set up our master node. So we have the option up here at the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is where we're gonna be creating our master node. You can see that we have the regular master node, which requires the collateral of 100,000 block X. And then we have a light node, which requires the collateral of 10,000 block X. The steps that we're about to do is gonna be exactly the same for no matter which one you're selecting. Uh, because we have 10,000, we're doing a light one. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now what we need is the IP address. So the IP address is going to be, if you're hosting it on your own computer, you want to make sure that you put that in here. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I have mine hosted on node orbit. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get my IP address from Node Orbit. Okay, and here is my Node Orbit account. I have my IP address. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, and I'm going to jump back over into this window. I'm going to paste in my IP address. Just want to make sure there's no spaces or anything. What we do have right over here is the owner address, the voting address, and the reward address. You can copy these and paste them somewhere if you want to have a record of that. The next step is to go ahead and click on the Create Master Node button. So go ahead and click on that. And it's going to go through the process of creating your master node. This process can take a little bit of time because you're waiting for the payment confirmation. And then once that's been confirmed, it'll go over to registered successfully. You can leave it at this window or you can close it out. Uh, it will populate over here in the background. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step. So the node has been successfully registered. It's up and running and it's given us this private key. This private key is something that we want to make sure that we're copying because what we're going to have to do is we're going to, want to enter this private key inside node orbit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open Node Orbit. And over here inside the dashboard, we're gonna go over to Actions, and then we're gonna to go to Update Node. And inside Update Node, you can copy and paste your key in. And then all you have to do is click on Update, wait a few minutes, and it's gonna start. All right, so that's all there is to it. We have our BlockX node up and running. Uh, once it's been registered on Node Orbit, it does take a little bit of time for that transaction to update, but you should be earning rewards shortly thereafter. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Please hit the like button. It helps me grow. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.